Hey folks, thanks for joining and welcome in. We're gonna go ahead and get started. But before we do, just wanna do a quick introduction. My name is Nick. I am a CSM for Google Cloud Security. I've been here for about three years and I have the pleasure of presenting to you guys the Getting Started with Chronicle content. This is a great place if you are new to Chronicle or maybe you just need a refresher, this is a great place to start and we are so excited to give you uh, some of this content. So let's jump in. At the end of this session, there are four main things that I want you to take away. The first being knowing how and where to get help with your technical questions and issues. Next is where are the resources and learning about those resources that are available to you at any time. You get them on demand and know where to find the latest product release information. Chronicle's doing a lot of really cool things in the security space, and I want you guys to stay up to date. And lastly, how do I get involved in the security community? This one's going to be super important as you guys go throughout your Chronicle journey. This is where you'll get connected to your peers and some of the experts in the security space. And uh, lots of great information lives in our community. So let's jump into uh, what's available to you guys. So firstly, we have our documentation. We have poured thousands of hours into making sure that we have great fundamentals, product release info, and even how-to guides for Chronicle. Highly recommend you guys jump in and get very familiar with this documentation because a lot of your questions can be answered in the already existing documentation. Uh, next, we have Chronicle events. These are coming soon. We're going to be doing a lot more of these type of uh, webinars with great information, how-to stuff. We'll be doing meetups and even ask me anythings with security experts, some folks that uh, are really well known in the industry or um, some even our product managers and CSMs will be doing ask me anythings and those will all live in the community. Uh, again, this is where we encourage you guys to engage with other Chronicle customers and your peers and experts and uh, get answers to some of the questions that you guys have. So first, let's cover how to reach out to Chronicle Technical Support. This is very important. Uh, so in order to reach Chronicle Technical Support, you need to open a case via the support portal. All you do is open a browser, navigate to support.chronicle.security, and then you'll log in using the credentials that were provided to you by your Chronicle representative. Now, once you've logged into that portal, all you have to do is click on create a case and then provide information about your question in the support contact form. So your subject needs to be pertinent. There's a list of priorities. P1 is critical impact, meaning your service is unusable. There's a significant business impact happening all the way down to P4, which means is a, it's a low priority. Service is fully usable, but maybe you ran into a bug or you're having an issue and just need a little bit of help. Now in the description box, I cannot stress this enough to you guys, it is incredibly imperative that you keep it as descriptive as possible. This is all the information you put here is where the support team will be able to understand what you're asking. Uh, you cannot be descriptive enough. You cannot give enough information in this description box. Uh, if you if you leave that description box short of information, what that'll look like is our support team reaching out to you and saying, hey, thanks for reaching out. I don't know enough about what you're trying to accomplish, just help me better understand, provide some more supporting details. So save yourself some interaction there, save yourself some time, just be as descriptive as possible. And then all you have to do is hit submit and then in, uh, a support representative will reach out to you. Next, let's talk about some of the documentation that exists. There is incredible how-to guides. You can find how-to guides on how do I log in to Chronicle? How do I uh, view all my alerts? How do I investigate a domain? All of that lives in our guides that you can access via the link. Again, I will make sure that that's provided in the post below. Uh, and as you can see, it's highlighted by green. You simply click on the guides and then there's a, all, all the guides are listed in order and you can access them anytime, 24-7. Along that same note, we have our release notes that live in that same space. So again, you'll click on the link, then you'll click on the red highlighted space called resources, and then release notes highlighted in green. That's going to show you all the latest and greatest. What's happening in Chronicle? What are, uh, what are we working on? What have we released? Uh, lots of great information there. Highly encourage you guys to jump into that as well. Last and possibly most importantly is our cloud security community. 
this is the future for where a lot of our Chronicle content is going to live. On this space, we're going to have product discussion forums. So you'll have customers and peers like yourself asking questions and able to easily find information. We'll cover what the security community looks like here shortly. We're also going to be hosting blogs right now as it stands. We've got incredible blogs and video blogs happening. Podcasts, our security analyst diary series is there. Uh, lots of awesome, awesome stuff happening in the blog space. And then again, we're going to be having new events happening. We'll have the AMAs, we'll have CSMs and product managers. We'll start interacting in some sort of event meetup style, and that's coming soon. So in order to utilize the security community to its full potential, you'll need to create an account. And it's very, very simple. You just simply click on that red highlighted space, log in to ask a question, and then you create an account. And you can do that with your already existing Gmail account or Google account or something completely separate. It's up to you. You'll enter in your credentials and you'll register now. And once you've done that, you'll actually get access to the security community. I have a video here, but I'm going to instead share my screen with you guys in real time. And we'll go over what's in the security community and why you want to use it. So once you've logged in, you'll know because you'll see this avatar here in the top right. And you'll go, this is your homepage. Just scroll down to the sp space down here for discussion spaces is labeled security. And then you'll click on that. And this is where you'll find all of Google Cloud Security's community information. Uh, we're growing, tons of new information is being added every single day. Lots of great questions are being asked on a daily basis. So you can see it's all separated out by these labels. So if you've got a specific topic you know you're looking for, i.e. Chronicle, you can sort simply by clicking on that label. Or in my opinion, the most useful resource is simply just the search index. Say you want to know, how do I log in to Chronicle? And there's an already existing question for you to jump into. Luis asked, how do I log into uh, Chronicle? As you can see, it's a pretty popular topic of conversation. And I answered this one a while back, uh, utilizing our logging into Chronicle how-to guide. So as you can see, the how-to guides are great information. The security um, community space is a fantastic place to get answers to your questions. So how do you ask a question? Well, that's going to be, that'll be done right here in uh, start a conversation. You'll click on that box. You'll enter in your subject. It could be whatever is pertinent to your question. And then in the body of the subject, you just simply put, or I'm sorry, in the body of the message, you simply put uh, whatever your question is. Now, when you go to post it, this is super important that you choose labels that are uh, that pertain to the question you have. You can choose multiple. However, I, I caution against you choosing multiple simply because that's how the uh, the question will be filtered out in the space. And it's important that Customers, peers, experts, Googlers know exactly what you're asking. So if you have a question that's uh, related to Chronicle, obviously use the Chronicle label. If you have one that's related to multiple, feel free to use multiple. And then you just simply hit post. I'm not going to post right now because I don't have an actual question. But once you do hit post, it'll lead you back to your forum uh, page here and you'll see your question. And then um, you can also choose to subscribe to these notifications. You just click that box and then it'll say success subscription has been added. And that means anytime anything gets posted in this space, you can get an email or set up alerts however you feel best. You can also do that simply by subscribing to the label. So if you only want to see Chronicle information, you can subscribe to just Chronicle. Uh, as you can see, I'm already subscribed and it gives you the option to unsubscribe from there. And if you want to manage those subscriptions, that's all done right here. And you just go into your, uh, you click right here in the top right, go to my subscriptions, and it'll show you all the subscriptions there and how uh, how you're getting alerts. If you just want emails, if you want less, if you want more, you can uh, you can find great information on that as well. So that's it for the security community space. Again, we're going to be having a ton of stuff added to this on a regular basis. So get involved there. I can't stress that part enough. The community is going to be a landing page going forward for all of Chronicle's content. So get involved, jump in. 
And lastly, we're just going to cover what your next steps are. If you do these three next steps, you will be 99% ahead of your peers that are utilizing Chronicle. So let's jump in. What are those? Number one, just ensure you have access to the Chronicle support portal. Try to create a case. If you don't have access, reach out to your Chronicle representative and see if they can help. Sign up and engage in the security community. For obvious reasons, it's very big, very important. We are excited to engage with you there. And then lastly, get familiar with the Chronicle documentation that exists today. We're constantly adding more guides, more information. Simply jump in, get familiar. And if you have any other questions or you're not sure what to do next, or you're running into an issue, reach out to us. We're in the security community. You'll see me very active in that security community as well. I look forward to meeting all of you guys, and we will talk soon. All righty.